Associate Professor of Piano here at Stephen F. Austin State University. And also thank you to everyone who's tuning in live. That's be, this concert's being streamed live on the <coughs> internet at our website at music.sfasu.edu. Um, this is a bit of a different concert uh, from what I guess is, uh, if there is such a thing as a traditional piano recital, um, particularly for an eight-year-old um, pianist. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, one of the things that I think is significant about this recital, as far as its difference from other recitals, is actually the instrument uh, that uh, Neo is going to be playing for you tonight, uh, all through the whole concert. Um, we are very fortunate enough to have, um, and we want to thank uh, the Yamaha Corporation of America and Sherman Clay Pianos in Houston, Texas, for loaning us this Yamaha Avant Grand N2 hybrid piano. They call it a hybrid piano because it has no strings on it, just like a, uh, a, an acoustic piano has no string, uh, excuse me, an acoustic piano has strings inside of it where hammers are striking it that produces the sound. There is an absence of strings here, so then we have a much more compact instrument here. However, what Yamaha has done is, through their amazing technology is to record and sample all the different and possible sounds that you can create on a concert uh, grand piano. So you get concert grand sound, they even strategically place speakers inside the instrument underneath the lid and also um, by, uh, by the pianist's feet so that when you're sitting down at the piano, you get this psychoacoustic same sensation that you do when sitting down at a grand piano. Another reason why they call it the hybrid piano is because of the keyboard. The keyboard is the exact same keyboard, uh, wooden keys and action and hammer mechanisms, escapement mechanisms that you find in a Yamaha grand piano, acoustic piano. So um, they've taken kind of the best of both, uh, both the digital and also the acoustic in this particular instrument. They even have what's called a tactile response system, a TRS is what they call it, in which they simulate vibrations through transdu transducers. <coughs> I don't even know what transducers are, but, um, <laughs> But it feels like a real piano when you're actually sitting down at the keyboard. You actually feel the key bed vibrating as you would on an acoustic piano. So um, we're really fortunate enough, again, to have, have this instrument uh, on loan to us from uh, the Yamaha Corporation. And uh, we're going to kind of show off some of the technological, technological possibilities with this instrument. In addition to being able to play like you're sitting at a concert grand piano, you can also sit and play as if you're playing on this instrument, which is a harpsichord. For those of you who don't know, harpsichord was a predecessor to the piano that we know today. It also had strings inside of it, but rather than having hammers striking the strings, they would actually, um, the mechanisms would actually pluck the strings, so you get more of a guitar-like sound. You don't have any fluctuations in dynamics at, your, at the keyboard, but has a whole different sound altogether, and Neo's gonna be demonstrating that for us here with a piece um, that was written for the um, harpsichord, I believe, uh, Johann Sebastian Bach, uh, his dates. Uh, so it kind of lets us go back in time and experience a little bit of the harpsichord sound back in the Baroque period. So hope you enjoy Neo's performance of the invention in A minor on the harpsichord. 